Wallachs on Lexington Street in Waltham. See Fred Tortola and George Rando, the people that are so kind to us here, and send it on in. Here's the address. Contestant, Candlepins for Cash, WXNE-TV, Post Office Box C600, Needham Heights, Massachusetts, 02194. And we look forward to your coming in here, coming through the magic door, trying to break our jackpot, meeting the good crew right here at Boston 25. We'll be doing hockey next Tuesday night, so there'll be no Candlepins for Cash Tuesday night as it will be Boston College taking on Maine, and then Thursday night it'll be Boston College against Northeastern. Join us for that. Sometimes we break them twice on our show. One time we had two bowlers in a row break the jackpot. Another time it went all the way up to $8,680 before Jeff Schlager of Framingham was able to bowl the strike to break the jackpot. Will it go or will it grow? You can never tell. We add 20 more dollars. Lucky $1,300 in the jackpot, and let's meet Carl Johnson. Welcome, Carl. How are you doing, man? Good. <laughs> Carl, you got your name right on there. Is that a yeah. bowling shirt? Or? No, it's my uh, father's company I work for, Johnson Brother Construction. Oh, no wonder your name is Johnson and you have Johnson on. Well, what kind of construction do you do? Uh, brick lane. Mason. Now, what happens in the cold weather? They uh, use a chemical to m make the mortar so it won't freeze. But what do you do to stay warm? Work hard. Do you get as much work in the wintertime as in the summer? No, not that much. How big a company does your father have? It's not that big, but it's getting bigger. Where do you live, Carl? I live in Brockton. Okay, we just had Mary Kelly, the pin pal from Brockton. Who'd you bring with you? I brought my, uh, my mother, my, uh, a friend of my mother's, Mrs. Randall, my girlfriend, Noreen, and my brother, Billy. Welcome to the show. Nice to have everybody with us. What do you like to do when you're not working? Uh, bowl. And where do you go bowling? Uh, Maple Alley's in Brockton. <clears throat> Very good. How often do you go? Just once in a while. You're lucky? No, uh, I don't know. Yeah, yes, so I don't know. How'd you do in the warm-ups? I got a strike. You did? Yeah. Was it your first ball you threw? No, I threw a few. Okay, so you're right on target. Maybe you can do it. Yeah, maybe. All right, Carl, reach into the barrel. Come out with your pin pal card. Your pin pal, very pretty picture of the Merrimack Canal, which is up in Lowell. Your pin pal, Irene Petkowitz from Chelmsford, right next to the canal. Good luck to Carl Johnson and Crofton as we try to break the jackpot. $1,300. Irene Petkowitz of Chelmsford is the pin pal. Look at this. Watch out. Look out. All but the one. All but the one. He had a strike in the warm-ups. Almost a backdoor strike. All but the head pin. And the head pin is still there. Nine down and one to go. And just missed it. Nine dollars for Carl. And nine for his pin pal in Chelsea. Well, what'd you think, Carl? No, not too good. You bowled the strike in the warm-ups. Was it just like that one coming back, or did you hit the head? I hit the head pin. Okay, well, thanks for coming. He gave it a good try. Carl got nine, and his Chelmsford pin pal got nine. If you want to break the jackpot on Candlepins for cash, and you don't even have to bowl to do it, you can just sit right at home, enjoy a few laughs, have fun, take in the program, and you can still break the jackpot. All you have to do is pick up a postcard and fill it out. All we need is your name, your address, and your telephone number. It's as simple as that. Send it off to Pin Pals, Candlepins for Cash, WXNE-TV, Post Office Box C-250, Needham Heights, Massachusetts, 02194. Elaine Marie Lundgren from Worcester was the last Pin Pal to win. She was the winner on Thanksgiving night. As a matter of fact, she has hit the jackpot two times, two times within the last year. So it is possible. It's not one of those impossible things to become a Pin Pal and hit the jackpot on Candlepins for Cash. Let's add another $20 to the jackpot. It is now $1,320. Let's meet Leona Lindsay. Hello. What do you like to do, Leona? Oh, I like to bowl. Mostly I don't do much but work and sleep. Which do you like to do better, sleep or work? Sleep. <laughs> I used to think that was funny until I have to get up at 5 in the morning to do the radio show. You really do appreciate sleep sometimes. Oh, yes. What time do you get up? Oh, I, I get up between 7 and 7.30. Well, that's not bad. It's like a luxury. Oh, yeah. What do you do then when you get up? Well, I have to leave for work around 7.30. I get to work around 
and then I'm not home again until about 6 o'clock. I work in Westboro. Where do you work? Uh, data General. I'm a computer programmer in software quality assurance. That's a growing company, isn't it, Data General? Oh, yes. How long have you worked for them, Leona? Uh, about a year and a half now. Are you married? Yes, I am. How long have you been married? About two and a half years. Where did you meet your husband? At a Christmas party. Okay, Christmas is coming up again, too, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I might, meet, I might meet another one. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Anybody want to say hi to? Yeah, I'd like to say hi to my husband, Gary, and my parents and all my family and friends. You ever notice at Christmas parties, office ones, somebody always gets fired every year? Yeah. Every Christmas party I've ever been to, somebody gets fired. They, they, you know, it's months later you find out that he got fired, and they always give another reason, but it always goes back to the Christmas party. Yeah, the way they behaved. <laughs> All right, Leona, reach into the barrel. Come out with your pin pal card. Your pin pal is William Dingwell of West Quincy. Good luck as we go for the jackpot. Leona Lindsay. <laughs> William Dingwell is the pin pal from West Quincy. One down to die to go. For a spare. Three down and seven to go. And six dollars it is for Leona and six for William Dingwell. Leona, thank you very much for coming. All right, our second bowler on tonight's program, that's Fisher Burke, still leads the way as the best bowler of the night. And she was finally able to beat out John Hoagland. The Secret Ways is the movie tonight, right after Candlepins for Cash. We add 20 more dollars to the jackpot. It's now $1,340. Here is Patty Wetzonis. <laughs> what do you like to do, Patty? Bowl. Where do you bowl? Uh, Burlington in Bowl Away Lane. Very good. Boy, you have enough things on your neck there. What, do you got the good luck charm? Right. What do they call that thing? It looks like a horn. It is a horn. <laughs> it's a good reason to call it a horn, isn't it? Mm-hmm. The story goes with it? No, my mother gave it to me, and I just... I guess you have to be given it, though. You're not supposed to buy it for yourself. I got it. Patty Wetzonis. Uh, say you're married or single name? I'm married, and that's my married name. What was your single name? Gathrow. And what do you like to do? I bowl and garden and things like that. What'd you grow in the garden this year? Oh, everything. <laughs> I really couldn't even get into them. Uh, do you have a big garden? Yes. We have a couple of them. No kidding. Where do you live? In Billerica. Do you have any animals or anything that run around? Oh, yeah. I have two collies. And what are their names? Sable and Tawny. That's different. How did they get those names? Well, I, um, I was a hairdresser and I picked colors from a hair chart. <laughs> You don't do hairdressing anymore, though? No. Who did your hair, Patty? Oh, I did. <laughs> Very nice. Who'd you bring with you? Okay, I bought uh, my grandmother, Effie, my mother, Maddie, my stepsister, Princess, my aunt, Pauline, my dad, Mark, my son, Joey, my girlfriend, Evelyn, <laughs> and my husband, John, and my Uncle B. Welcome to the show, everyone. You said your sister's name was Princess? No, that's my si stepsister. I have a sister named Michelle. But her name is Princess here. Correct. A real name? Her real name is Margaret, but she's been Princess all her life, so... Well, she's a princess. Right. She used to tell stories to my kids when they were little, and they really believed that she was a princess. Do you know what a princess makes for dinner? No. <laughs> Reservations. Uh-huh. Bob, could I say hi to the people at Barrows? <laughs> And also to my son, John, who's at a rally today at school. Okay, reach into the barrel and come out with your pin pal card. Thank you. Patty, you got a colorful card here. Uh, the Catskill Game Farm. I have two giraffes on here. <laughs> your pin pal is from Chicopee. Gets us out on the cable out there. Welcome to the show. We had a Walter Childs from out there. Won a big jackpot. The last really big one we had. Bogdan Cowell from Chicopee. Good luck, Patty. <laughs> the jackpot, $1,340. Bogdan Cowell is the bid bell. Five down and five to go.
for a spare. Six down and four to go.